They are simple, but not simple. Using the pictographs and telling stories, it's like bringing these logs back to life and giving them another opportunity to shine. White Hustle Halt is squeezed Milna and Shema is squeezed Les Lewis. Uh, hello, good day. My name's uh, Milna. Uh, my English name's Les Lewis. Uh, my Okanagan name translates to wherever I go, I'm in the middle of things. I've been working on pictograph carvings now on story poles for about 10 years now. As an Okanagan, I wanted to find a style that I could identify with and bring to the present. And pictographs are the ancient markings that are left by our ancestors on the rocks. So now I've taken that inspiration, I've put that onto logs. The beauty of using a log and turning them into story poles is bringing them back to life. We cut down a log or a tree, we stripped it of its branches and its bark. It's exposed. I'm using different tools, different technology, and just making my own images and having my own visions and my own dreams about what I want to create. It's like I become one with the tool and I just bring in those images out of the log. And I know it's one step closer to the finished product, which I already see in my mind. There's no more dust to take off now. <laughs> When it's done, you know, you can run your fingers over the carvings and to just experience this art. Then just feel that energy and feel that connection and just enjoy the beauty that this land has to offer. And as an artist, this creates dialogue. This creates conversations among people that observe the art and just create that interest and for the people to educate themselves on who we are as Okanagans and just give a little glimpse of how beautiful our land is and our culture is and our traditions. So it has opened up doors for me to be able to share a little bit of my culture, a little bit of my creativity, and to let others experience this art. The story poles are an expression. <laughs> <laughs>